In this video, we'll run an AC power integrity simulation in PI Pro to obtain the PDN Z impedance. A PI AC analysis computes the impedance for the IC current loads over a broad frequency range and helps identify whether the power distribution network, or PDN, provides a low impedance path from the VRM to the IC. Excessive impedance in a certain frequency range can generate voltage noise, also called dynamic IR drop. The DDR4 SDRAM layout that we'll be using in this video can be found in the examples directory of the ADS installation. Once in the directory, go to the HSD folder, find the SIPRO PI Pro getting started example workspace, and unarchive it. We'll create a new PI AC analysis by right clicking on Analyses and selecting New PI AC Analysis. We'll then rename the analysis as VDD Ground AC. Like a PIDC analysis, we need both VRMs and sinks. We'll filter to the J1 component and bring it into the VRMs, selecting VDD as the power net. J1 is the 288 pin connector to this memory module. Now let's filter to the DDR components. I'll select U1 through U19. These are the DDR4 DRAM units. We'll drag these to the sinks, select the VDD power net, and apply it to all of the components. Since we're only looking at impedances, we don't need to bother setting up the voltage and current of the VRMs or sinks. However, we will need to set up the decoupling capacitors that are attached to the VDD net. Select the ground and power net, right click, and press select instances connected exclusively to selective nets. Now, we'll drag in all of the capacitors that are connected to these two nets into the component models. Notice that they are categorized into three capacitor models. We'll double click to assign the model to the capacitors. For each of these capacitors, we'll use a simple lumped model with its respective capacitive value. This simulation can take around half an hour, so let's double check our settings. We can leave all the defaults for this analysis. We'll simulate from 10 kHz to 300 MHz on an automatic plan running up to 300 points maximum. Now let's run our simulation. Under results, we can plot the PDN impedance for each of the sinks. Select all of the sinks, right click, and add PDN impedance. Here I have plots for sinks 1 and 2. We can easily see how different values of capacitors can affect these plots without having to re-simulate. To do this, right click on component models and select all properties. Then we'll scroll over to capacitance and try changing the 1 microfarad to 0.1 microfarad. We can immediately see the effect on the plots. Let's change this back to 1 microfarad and try out using the model database. First, notice that there's a resonance around 3 MHz. We'll look for a capacitor model that has a null around that frequency range. Earlier, we used a lump model for each of the capacitors. We can also use a database of real models and see the updates on the plots. Right-click on a capacitor, select Properties, and under Add, go to Model Database. We'll filter the capacitance to 1 microfarad, then sort by resistance, and select the first one, which has our desired frequency response. We'll make this model the default for all the capacitors in this model, then apply it to see the change in the graph. As we can see, the resonance is sharply reduced. Thank you for watching this Keysight ESOF EDA tutorial. You can find a link to a free trial of ADS in the video description below.